Hello everyone, and welcome to Joystick News video of the day. Players looking forward to jumping into the world of Sanctuary and slaying hordes of Lilith's demonic minions won't have to wait much longer as the release of Diablo 4 is right around the corner. The next entry in Blizzard's classic ARPG series has been a long time coming, and it's packed with features that are set to take the franchise to the next level. While players got to test out some of these features in the beta for Diablo 4, there will be more available once the full game launches. The class system iconic to the series returns with a total of five playable classes, starting with Diablo 4's Sorcerer and followed by the Barbarian, the Rogue, the Druid, and the Necromancer. Each of these classes has its own skill tree with different branching paths that allow even players of the same class to have wildly different builds. Coupled with the in-depth character creation tools the game offers, Diablo 4 is shaping up to be the most complex entry in the series yet when it comes to individual customization. Now let's take a look at all the features that are confirmed to be available at launch. Diablo 4 will have a robust character creation and customization tools, including Paragon Boards and the Codex of Power. The game will feature an open world with five regions, Skosklin, Dry Steps, Kajistan, Fractured Peaks, and Hazar, and nonlinear story progression. Optional strongholds will be alongside main quest dungeons. Players can also participate in overworld events like the Gathering Legions, and face world bosses like Ashava the Pestilent. The game will also have an artisan system for crafting armor, jewelry, potions, and enchantments, world tiers representing increasing difficulty levels, and in-game content including Nightmare Dungeons, Helltides, the Tree of Whispers, and Capstone Dungeons. PvP combat in the Fields of Hatred will be available, as well as Paragon boards for players who reach level 50. Players can play online co-opus for up to four players, and couch co-opus for up to two players on consoles. Crossplay will be available between all platforms, and there will be a seasonal battle pass and an in-game cosmetics shop. The biggest feature new to the Diablo series is an open-world map full of quest dungeons alongside the optional strongholds. The map is broken up into five regions, Skosklin, Dry Steps, Kajistan, Fractured Peaks, and Hazar, and players will be able to enjoy a less linear experience through the game's main story, exploring these regions at their leisure. While exploring the world, Diablo 4 players have the chance to participate in special events like the Gathering Legions, which pits players against waves of enemies for the chance to earn various rewards. While Diablo 4 won of a traditional gear crafting system like other RPGs, it will feature some form of crafting utilizing NPC artisans found throughout each region's capital city. Weapons and armor can be crafted and upgraded at the blacksmith like in Diablo 3. The jeweler is available for crafting amulets and rings once players reach level 20, and the occultist can enhance equipment for further using enchantments. Additionally, Diablo 4 introduces the alchemist who can upgrade players' health potion total and craft useful elixirs as well. Along with Diablo 4's open world is the way the game handles online multiplayer, which is a crucial aspect of the game's design. Diablo 4 features both local and online co-opus play, allowing players to team up with friends or strangers to take on the game's challenges together. The online multiplayer component of Diablo 4 allows players to join forces with other players from around the world in various modes. The game features a shared open world where players can freely explore and interact with each other, as well as participate in events and quests together. In addition, Diablo 4 will feature a robust matchmaking system that will allow players to quickly and easily find other players to team up with. Players can also create their own private games and invite friends to join them, giving them complete control over who they play with. One of the most exciting features of Diablo 4's online multiplayer is the ability for players to seamlessly join and leave each other's games. This means that players can jump in and out of games as they please, without any interruptions or delays. Overall, Diablo 4's online multiplayer is shaping up to be a major highlight of the game. With its seamless matchmaking system, robust co-opus features, and open-world design, Diablo 4 promises to be a thrilling and engaging multiplayer experience for fans of the series. So there you have it, everything you need to know about Diablo 4's launch features. From the open-world map to the in-game content, Blizzard is pulling out all the stops to make this the best entry in the series yet. With cross-platform play, online co-opus, and a plethora of new and returning features, Diablo 4 is sure to be a hit with both longtime fans and newcomers alike. So what are you waiting for? Get ready to dive into the world of Sanctuary and take on Lilith's demonic minions in Diablo 4. Whether you're a seasoned veteran of the series or a newcomer looking to jump in, there's something for everyone in this highly anticipated game. Thank you for watching and be sure to stay tuned to Joystick News for all the latest news and updates on Diablo 4 and other gaming titles.